This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. Wagwan well, my people, hope everybody doing okay, hope everybody doing alright. It is a good feeling when God shows up just in time. But it's the best feeling when you realize he has never left you. Happy Thursday. Big up everybody who live for it today. Every day above drunk is a blessing. Me always come and me tell you know that, you know. But can I tell you something more? Yes, when you wake up and you see your life. It's awesome feeling. Yeah, man, me know some man don't understand what me I say about the people that know what me I talk about. Jump for joy this morning and say yes. I am alive and I'm well and I'm kicking. Only part thing I go under the news so you know the ball game go already. The operation is kind of different so I can start it right now. The police have again taken the custody 33 year old Vincent Dunn. The ex-boyfriend of 27 year old Makeda Hudson who was killed in a car crash. Remember me on the talk about that? Go hold on a bit. I can refresh on the memory. Hudson was working as a shipping agent at the Lasco Saint Shipping Company, died in September when the car in which he and Don were traveling plunged into the Rio Cobra in the Bagua Guard in St. Catherine. The police said Don is to be charged with attempting to prevent the court of justice and breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act. He was traveling the guard during the hours at around 1 a.m. on Sunday, September 26. A post-mortem examination revealed that the St. Catherine woman had drowned. One thing with me, me, ah, let's come and me tell you the truth. All who can hear will feel. You see what was them up on the road? Long after curfew hours. So we reach them, supposed to reach them because them no one hear. Anyway, me can move on with the news. 34 year old Mikhail Muir of Dardistan, Westmoreland has been charged with murder of a man who died following an attack at Dardistan Cemetery. Yes, people, me know they never hear about this. The man killed him in one graveyard. The incident happened on Friday, October 15. Moore was arrested and subsequently charged on Tuesday, November 9. Why the police they never go famous slap him? You understand? Big four food police so be. A court date for the matter has not yet been finalized. The deceased was been identified as 60 year old Wilfred Henry, otherwise called Kling Kling of Darlingston, Westmoreland. The police report at about 4 p.m. on the day in question in Moore used an object to hit Henry on the head during an altercation. Henry was transported to the hospital where he succumbs to his injury. Dead, dead, dead. Anyway, now paper me can give you no more news. A St. Catherine man who allegedly assaulted a bus conductor for resisting extortion demands has been arrested and charged by the Spanish town police. Police of a Spanish town. On our way stand. Why do not slap him away? Why not carry behind bars go do? Remember then all the fire criminal them already, you know? A full time now to start slap them away. Charge with extortion and unlawful wounding is Davian Edwards. Otherwise, otherwise called, called Guy Collison. Yes, people are ugly little fellow. The people that were up on the side, they know him so all the need for the push out in pictures so other people can know him too. The 28-year-old man who is unemployed lived on New John Crescent in Spanish Town. Edwards, who was arrested and charged on Monday, November 8th, is booked to appear in the St. Catherine Parish Court on Tuesday, November 16. This is a boy never free on a court. I slap on if you slap him. Allegations by the police are that the accused has been extorting a bus conductor in Spanish town. The complainant got frustrated and decided not to give in to his demands when he was injured by the accused. Now can I tell you something? Long time enough to stop and give them money. You understand? Uno cause all of this. No found out the problem. Uno little bus driver and conductor. Uno all about them too much. But the police them over there not doing nothing. Cause come like when them call them and give police them something out tight. So what I said that I mean what I said I'm not take it back. Anyway, me can continue. And as you try to make the pandemic, you know me have to talk to the deputy soap. So deputy superintendent of police, Linford Edwards, said the police will be continuing their fight against extortion and other crimes in the St. Catherine capital. Full time now, and if you start slap with the boy, the man stop out to not carry them behind bars, go waste tax space money. I am sick and tired of that now. I can give you no more news. Make I give you no more news, guys. JOT say bus driver them. He not want to patch up land the bus them to call the man them now stop my shot the bus. But before I reach my the mass bus ends, I can give you this party first. A driver employed to the Jamaica Transit Company who was stopped on the weekend while assisting a woman 
being robbed in downtown Kingston has been released from hospital. According to a statement from JUTC, sometime after 2 p.m. on Saturday, the driver who was waiting in the vicinity of War Theatre North Parade in downtown Kingston observed a woman being accosted by a man who attempted to rob her of her cell phone and other personal items. He may not try to buy the woman this stuff too. If you can't go get him conky by nine yard. The driver made an alarm and intervened after seeing the man physically assaulting the woman. Big up a driver, can no father that keep back and think a man or woman business and do help. I may rate the driver if you go help, even though it could have cost your life on somebody would have lived to tell the tale. Next Heroes Day, you deserve an award. Anyway, we can continue the news though. The would be robber responded by attacking the driver, stabbing him in his right shoulder abdomen before fleeing the scene the injured man managed to drive himself to the dispatch point where he was assisted to the hospital by police officer the female victim escaped unharmed i hope she got the hospital go look for the man you know because i fear life the man did a save and fear belongings you know and get himself stabbed up but anyway corporate communication manager of jutc cecile thomas described the incident as unfortunate it's once again i light yes people the challenge that our drivers face when they venture out crime is a feature of jamaican society and our drivers are not immune to its impact rain shine yes no matter the weather our drivers are mandated to transport people and this assault is just yes one of the many things them face and that chair me gonna know me can tell you something Look out for the driver on the pan the road. And speaking of that, the guy continue with the JUTC news. The Jamaican Herbie Transit Company is reporting that five of its buses and not three were damaged in stone throwing incident in Lower St. Andrew Tuesday evening. And this is where them officer people. I will have a look at video. Can them go sound a video the bus and make us see exactly what I'm going. All of this in a one day's work or one night's work. Half a million dollar. Half a million dollar. Half a million dollar. You see me? And this is going for the past three months now. So check it out. One of these. And somebody now do something about this. No, see, it's not one I get feeding. See? And, uh, Ah, that one here. Yeah. This is one on the Three that. That one there, three up there, son. This, this me, is a lizard one. See it, yeah? yeah? So one more added people. Watch ya. You understand? One more. Half a million dollars again. This is an Arctic. You understand me? So one more added. So three and one more. Four in a one night. Three miles the whole of this are going. Three miles the whole of this have gone the past I couple of months. You know what the greatest thing? And the bus they mash up and the bus can't fix back. None of the driver them no lose them life. I'm happy about that. But I can tell you something. Driver, anytime you see none of them boys, they don't know what to do. Angle on up, angle on yourself. And speaking of that, people. You want to see how half a tree get at? Be so touch about pan story, don't worry on yourself. You understand? Because the people them say, yo, them find bad pants and the bag of things like that. Be a talk about. You see that look of video there when you see at the start of the program. We have the whole of the video. You just see the boy them going in that little phone store for rub. Yes, people, rub. And my boy just goes up, boom, boom, boom. And touch the button. You want to see how quick them run. My boy you should have a little machine for what them up in that. Said what I said and I mean what I said, people. Now worry yourself. We have all more news to go now.